Hello, Will. Nice to see this essay from you. Let's get right into your video correction so we can see what you had to say. Okay, the top is international trade. Um, and here's how you began. Okay, international trade has become ever developed in today's world with individuals believing that, believing this has great benefits. However, there's also substantial opposition to this phenomenon, and I will discuss the two views in this essay. Okay, which side do you agree with? Um, okay, well, I guess we'll find out. Those who claim such commercial activities are invasive highlight that the products imported, ranging from physical commodities to cultural images, are instilled into local inhabitants' mindset and change, not changing, change their lifestyle. Indeed, Asian people, you don't need apostrophe S, used to appreciate indigenous entertainment such as operas and dramas rather than watching Hollywood blockbuster movies. Um, you could have um, added something here just to show the contrast. You could have said that, um, for example, like which, which seem to be the most popular form of entertainment today. Like just make that connection for us because I don't know what um, Asian people you know, watch for entertainment. So just make that connection for the reader and say that, um, you know, that these block and muscle movers are the most popular form of entertainment nowadays. Okay, a second point is that the widespread, um, not the widespread, the, you mean something else here? Um, dissemination, perhaps, maybe, of exotic information has replaced certain countries' linguistic system and this is rather obvious in the third world countries uh by the way we don't really call them third world anymore it's a little um outdated as an expression um so you might want to change it maybe you could say developing economies which is more um popular in usage nowadays okay as more native africans as speak english nowadays uh than their aboriginal languages which is okay uh, grammatically, there's some things happening here. Let's see. So you could have just said here, for instance, more um, Africans speak English nowadays than their Aboriginal languages, which is certainly a result of frequent trading between Africa and the... Well, you could have just said the West, really, couldn't you? Okay? All right, so... Um, on the other hand, many others feel that this communication has boosted education, ethnic understanding, and cultural identity between participant countries. International transactions often comprise not just imports but exports, of which unique traditions and cultures, therefore. Okay, I, you lost me for a second. Let me try that again. International transactions often comprise not just imports but exports, of which unique tradition and cultures, therefore attain opportunities to present themselves to the world. Okay, it was a little hard to read, but I got it. Confucius Institute is one of the examples that um, the Oriental spirit is well presented by a marketing facilitating Western citizens to appreciate Chinese culture in a more realistic way. Not only this, um, you could have said here, yet or but, the standard of education, especially tertiary education in China, has increased dramatically via education experts with developed countries. If such contacts were prohibited due to adverse factors, the students would continue to suffer from cramming. Okay, um, again, I feel like I'm missing some sort of a connection here. Um, I don't know why cramming is being discussed. And how is it relevant to um, Western, uh, Western education and so forth? So I'm a little confused. I mean, it seems like you've made a leap from point A to D, but we're kind of missing points C and uh, B and C. All right, so moving on. In conclusion, it seems to me that the merits of cultural understanding and advancements, uh, advancements, the full word in education, do exceed the drawbacks of world trade, although local leisure industry, although the local leisure industry may receive shocks from overseas competitors, such challenges can also be reflective 
to local countries and stimulate their future development. Okay, nice. So there were a lot of elements I liked. Um, I saw some good ideas. I saw some good vocabulary. So well done with that. Um, but just keep in mind the um, feedback and the suggestions that I already gave. Um, so with that, that brings us to the end of this video correction. I hope you found the feedback helpful. I also hope that um, I will get to see more essays from you so that I can help you achieve your IELTS goals um, by continuing to give you feedback and helping you um, improve your writing, okay? So um, regardless of what you decide to do, I wish you the best of luck with all your writing.